welcome to fsr academy today i am giving you some important current affairs question for the students those who are going to prepare for uh, first battalion exam 2022 bank exam 2022 aptcl exam ssc rrb etc so for you i am giving you the most important current affairs question please note it down question number 1 Former Davis Cup captain Noresh Kumar passed away recently. Davis Cup is related to which sport? We all know that Noresh Kumar was the former captain of Indian tennis sport. So Davis Cup is related to which sport? Davis Cup is related to the sport tennis. So option B is correct. Question number two is in front of you. Who among the following has launched a countrywide mega drive, Raktadhan Amrit Mahotsav, for voluntary blood donation? Uh, it is option D, Dr. Mansuk Mandevia. Dr. Mansuk Mandevia is the Union Health Minister uh, who has launched countrywide mega drive Raktadan Amrit Mahachav for voluntary blood donation. And it starts from 17th, October, 17th September, please note it down, 17th September to 1st October 2022. You should remember the campaign the dates of this campaign 17th september 22 to 1st october 22 next question is in front of you india's first forest university to be established in which of the following states a uttar pradesh b gujarat c rajasthan d punjab and e telangana it is the option e telangana telangana in in the state telangana india's first forest university has been established okay the uh, to expand uh, fcri to expand fcri into a full fledged university so what is fcri you have to note down this fcri the full form of fcri f is forest c for college r for research and i for institute forest college and research institute in hyderabad you have to write down this in hyderabad okay so Telangana is the state to be established first forest university in India. Okay. Question number four: Who has been appointed as the new chairman and managing director of the Indian Trade Promotion Organization? You have to remember this abbreviation. Indian ITPO is Indian Trade Promotion Organization. So the correct option is option C, B B R Subramaniam. Okay. Question number five is in front of you. What is the theme of the World Ozone Day 2022? It is a very important question. The theme of the World Ozone Day 2020 is option A, Global Cooperation Protecting Life on Earth. Global Cooperation Protecting Life on Earth. Okay. Next question is in front of you. Which of the following has become India's most valuable brand according to the Kantar Brand Z report? According to Kantar Brand Z report, it is TCS, Tata Consultancy Service. So, option B is correct. Next question, question number 7. Reliance Industries Chairman Mukesh Ambani has announced to build off India's first and one of the world's largest carbon fiber plant. You have to remember this, Hajira Gujarat. The option A is correct, is Hajira Gujarat. Reliance Industries Chairman Mukesh Ambani has announced to build off India's first and one of the world's largest carbon fiber plant at Hajira, Gujarat. Okay, next question. Question number 8 in front of you. Which governing body has announced to launch its new centralized portal called e Shamdan? A. University Grants Commission B. All India Council for Technical Education C. Pharmacy Council of Education Central Board of Secondary Education E. National Informatics Center. The correct option is University Grants Commission, UGC. Okay, so option A is correct. Question number 9 in front of you. In India, National Nutrition Week is observed every year from A. September 1 to 7, B. September 2 to 8, C. September 3 to 9, D. September 4 to 10, E. September 5 to 11. It's a very important question. Nutrition Week is observed every year from September 1 to 7, option A is correct. Which of the following government unveiled a scheme called Mahila Nidhi on women's equality 
day to help them sustain their livelihoods a odisha b rajasthan c sikkim d assam e haryana the correct option is option b rajasthan okay question number 11 nakesh singh has been appointed as india's next ambassador to which country a france b thailand c uk d usa e israel nakesh singh has been appointed as india's next ambassador to thailand the country thailand option b is correct question number 12 national crime records bureau ncrb ncrb is national crime record bureau has released the accidental deaths and suicides in india 2021 report according to the 2021 report which state has the highest number of road accidents death a uttar pradesh b gujarat c rajasthan d maharashtra and e haryana the correct option is a uttar pradesh next question question number 13 the all india council of technical education aicte all india council of technical education has signed an agreement with which company to accelerate digital creativity skills across india a microsoft b apple c adobe d google and e meta it is the option us based adop so the all india council for technical education aicte has signed an agreement with the company adop to accelerate digital creativity skills across india next question is in front of you question number 14 what is the theme of the world coconut day 2022 The theme of the World Coconut Day 2020 is Growing Coconut for a Better Future and Life. Option C is correct. Growing Coconut for a Better Future and Life. Next question is in front of you. Who has been appointed as the Director General of the News Service Division of All India Radio? Dr. Basuda Gupta. Dr. Basuda Gupta has been appointed as the director general of the news services division of all india radio so option a is correct question number 16 is in front of you what is the total gst revenue collected in august 2022 1.42 1.40 crore 1.40 lakh crore 1.44 lakh crore 1.48 lakh crore 1.43 lakh crore the correct option is option e 1.43 lakh crore is the total gst revenue collected in the month august 2022 question number 17 is a very important question which of the following country is known as the land of the horse according to the american museum of natural history amnh american museum of natural history amnh you have to remember this abbreviation amnh american museum of natural history it is mongolia the option c is correct mongolia is the country is known as the land of the horse okay question number 18 is in front of you who among the following has been appointed as the brand ambassador of indian super food brand pintola it is sunil chetri the footballer sunil chetri has been appointed as a brand ambassador of indian super food brand pintola those who are very new in this channel feel free to subscribe the channel fsr academy as i am giving you continuously the most important current affairs question the most important gk and uh, subject i am covering the subject of mathematics child development and pedagogy for tet or bed exam or dled entrance exam evs general science english grammar etc so feel free to subscribe the channel and share to your friend circles okay So next question next question is in front of you question number 19 which of the following company will build 3 giga factories to manufacture solar modules wind turbines and hydrogen electrolyzers a adani group b tata group c reliance industries limited d ntpc limited e nhpc limited it is the correct option is adani group adani group will build 3 giga factories to manufacture solar modules wind turbine and hydrogen electrolyzers okay question number 20 is in front of you world's largest museum of harappan culture to be set up in which of the following states of india it's haryana okay so in the state haryana the world's largest museum of harappan culture to be set up 
okay the flying city will create history by implementing a fully digital addressing system making it the first city in india very very important question it is indoor the option the correct option is indoor question number 22 is in front of you who has been appointed as managing director of csc e governance spb it is sanjay kumar rakesh it is Sanjay Kumar Rakesh. The correct option is Sanjay Kumar Rakesh has been appointed as the Managing Director of CSC E-Governance SPB. World Lymphoma Awareness Day WLAD is held on September 15th on every year and is a day dedicated for raising awareness of lymphoma, an increasingly common form of cancer. The correct option is E, September 15th. Question number 23. Chess player Ali Reza Firuja won the ninth edition of the Sinquifield Cup in September 2022. The tournament was held in which country? The tournament was held in United States of America. It's a very, very important question. Please remember the question with answer. Okay. Question number 25 is in front of you. It's a very important question. Hindi Divas or Hindi Day is observed every year on dash to mark the popularity of Hindi as an official language of India September 14th September is the correct option so you have to remember this 14th September is the Hindi Divas or Hindi day which is observed every year okay to mark the popularity of Hindi as an official language of India okay next question question number 26 which of the following state will host Ranji Trophy matches for the first time in December 2022. It is the state Sikkim. So Sikkim is the state which will host Ranji Trophy matches for the first time in December 2022. Question number 27. Sri Lankan cricket team won the Asia Cup 2022 after defeating which of the following teams in the finals? Everybody knows this. So it is the Pakistan option C. Next question, 28. Recently, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated World's Diary Summit, World's Diary Summit 2022 in Greater Noida. Which is the theme of the summit? The theme of the summit is Diary for Nutrition and Livelihood. Option A is correct. Diary for Nutrition and Livelihood. Next question, question number 29. Which of the following state has decided to introduce a no back day in school? It is Bihar. Bihar is a state which has decided to introduce a no back day in schools. Okay. Next. Next question, question number 30 is in front of you. What is the theme of the World's Alzheimer's Day 2022? The theme of the World's Alzheimer's Day 2022 is no dementia no alzheimer's so option d is correct no dementia no alzheimer's next question is in front of you what is the theme of the international day of peace 2022 international day of peace 22 very very important question it is end racism build peace the theme of the international day of peace 2022 is end racism build peace so option d is correct Next question is question number 32. The International Day of Peace is observed globally on September 21. So option A is correct. You have to remember this question with answer. The International Day of Peace is observed globally on September 21. Next question is in front of you. India's first lithium ion cell factory has been inaugurated in which of the following state? It's Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is the state which has inaugurated the first lithium ion cell factory. Okay, you have to remember this question. The correct option is Andhra Pradesh. Next question is in front of you. Which of the following state launched CM the High C web portal to address public grievances? It is Manipur. The state, the name of the state is Manipur. Which of the state has launched CM the high C web portal to address public grievances? The name of the state is Manipur. And this is the last question which is in front of you. Question number 35. Who has won the 
गोल्ड मेडल इन मलेशियन एज ग्रुप रैबिट चेस चैम्पियनशिप इन कलरमपुर इट इज अनिक्षा बियानी अनिक्षा बियानी हेज ओन द गोल्ड मेडल इन द मलेशियन एज ग्रुप रैबिट चेस चैम्पियनशिप इन कलरमपुर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी अनिश्का बियानी सो दोज हुर इंटर वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड टू नो द करंट अफेयर्स क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू फील फ्री टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड गेट ऑल द कर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स क्वेश्चन फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम सो थैंक यू वेरी मच